um, my boy Dylan Berger. <laughs> he just laughs when I uh, dab when saying his name. Good morning fellow mathematicians, welcome back to another video. I really can slide into here too nicely um, in my new studio. I don't know how, but I'm going to get a hang of it over time. We are going to take a look at yet another result that <laughs> just looks too good to be true. I mean, we are kind of summing up pi's, pi squares, and on the other side we are going to get out e squares in some way. This is this is actually extremely weird what we have right here. And we would like to evaluate this sum today using something that I have derived before on this channel. So it's, so it's going to be quite exciting. Um, actually, um, my boy Dylan Berger, <laughs> he just laughs when I uh, dab when saying his name, posted this fact on his Twitter page. And once I saw this infinite series, I knew immediately what I would like to use. And this is the mittag leffler series expansion for the cotangent. I have derived it before. Um, link to the video will probably be in the description. Um, also, you can find it in my master's thesis. I have used it there and derived it there. It's, it's, it's pretty damn amazing. Okay, so um, the cotangent of z is nothing other. Let me think for a second. It's 1 over z minus 2 times z. Um, then we have the infinity boy where k reaches from 1 to infinity of 1 over k squared times pi squared minus z squared. And <laughs> maybe you can already see something. This series that we have right here is basically this one, but you have to think about which z value you would like to plug into here. And there's only one real Z value that comes to mind. I mean, there, there should be infinitely many. So, so if you take a look at the complex plane, okay. But if you were to plug in Z being equal to I into here, okay, Z can be a complex number. The series expansion holds for um, extremely many uh, complex numbers, except for those um, of the form T times pi, okay, where, where T is element of, um, the positive or negative integers, if I rem remember correctly. But if you plug pi, uh, i into here, then you are going to get um, i squared, and negative and negative is going to be positive. And what we thus have right here is nothing but our series that we are striving for. So let us do this um, as a little implication. The cotangent of i, okay, this is already quite a nice fact, okay, can be expressed as an infinite series, namely by 1 over i minus 2 times i times the infinity boy that we are seeking, okay? k being greater or equal to 1 and then negative 1 times negative 1 is positive. So 1 over 1 plus k squared pi squared. Okay, this thing right here is our series. Uh, let us uh, give it a nice name, uh, capital E, okay? Because E, that's a nice mean, capital E. Um, yeah. So basically, um, this thing is some kind of imaginary part. Okay, is 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 part of the imaginary part of the cotangent of i, and we are going to just uh, take a look at what the cotangent of i actually is. Okay, it's it's quite easy to evaluate. Cotangent of i. So cotangent in itself, if you have the cotangent of z, this is the cosine over the sine. And if you write it into its Euler form, it's going to be i. We are going to have it up there because the sine is down there. And then the, co the cosine part is e to the i times z plus e to the negative i times z over and then the sine part. So e to the i times z minus e to the negative i times z. This is what we have if you were to plug i into here. We are going to get i squared, negative i squared, i squared, and negative i squared. Let us evaluate this a bit more um, thoroughly. So we are going to have i times um, i squared is negative 1. So e to the negative 1 of power plus e, okay, e to the first power over, and then we are going to get e to the negative 1 of power minus e. Exactly. This just uh, this should do the trick. And also we know that our cotangent of i is exactly equal to 
what we have right here. Also one more fact that we could take into account is that one over i if we expand it by the complex conjugate, okay, so i over i basically, if we just expand this fraction by i, over, by i over i it's going to give us negative i because i times i is negative one, blah blah blah. Negative i. And thus, if we just take the imaginary part on both sides or cancel out i on both sides, I, I really don't care how you go about this, you can actually see that negative 1 minus 2 times e is nothing other than this e term that we have right here. Let us write everything out and see what we get. So cotangent of i is just this and if we were to cancel out the i on both sides we're going to get e to the negative 1th power plus e over e to the negative 1th power minus e being equal to what I just said, negative 1, okay, cancelling out the i's, minus 2 times our series that we are striving for, 2 times e, okay, capital E. Now, all that's really left to do is to separate our e, and then we are basically done. So um, let us add 1 on both sides, and let's multiply both sides by um, negative 1, then divide both sides by 2 and see what we get. But at first I would like to do one more little um, manipulation. Let us get rid of the 1 over e's that we have right here, so expanding this fraction by e over e. Okay, this is just something you can do to get rid of the e to the negative 1 of power. Meaning overall, on this side, once multiplying everything with e on the top and bottom, we are going to get e squared plus 1 over 1 minus e squared. And now we can proceed with what I just said. We can add 1 on both sides. Meaning overall 2 times e is nothing other than 1 plus e squared plus 1 over 1 minus e squared. Now we can expand the 1 by uh, 1 minus e squared over 1 minus e squared and just multiply, uh, add everything together. We are going to get 1 minus e squared plus 1 plus e squared, okay, just adding those together, over 1 minus e squared. e squared and e squared is going to cancel out. We are going to have a 2 up here, so this is going to give us 2 over 1 minus e squared. Now we can divide both sides by 2, this is going to cancel out overall, and then we can, um, also I forgot the negative sign, we can multiply both sides by negative 1, changing around the signs on the denominator and then we are done. We get exactly what we were seeking and those were just some manipulations on something we have derived before. This is a pretty powerful tool, so those mittag leffler series expansions and yeah, I was using Fourier series back then to derive those. That's actually quite a lot of fun and I hope you did enjoy this video. But before we end the video, I would like to thank <laughs> Dylan Berger for providing me with, uh, me with this problem here. You can find a link to his Twitter page in the description. And also I would like to thank Brilliant.org for sponsoring this episode of um, some fun little analytic number theory application stuff where we turn pies into E's. The definition of the cotangent that we have used today is a pretty advanced mathematical concept. If you are not yet familiar with Fourier transforms and infinite series, then you should definitely consider getting started with the basics on Brilliant. Brilliant's mission is to help people achieve their learning goals, so whether you're a student, a professional brushing up or learning cut-edge topics, or someone who just wants to understand the world better, you should check out Brilliant. Set a goal to improve yourself and then work at that goal a little bit every day. Brilliant makes it easy with interactive explorations and a mobile app that you can use on the go. If you are naturally curious, want to build your problem solving skills or need to develop confidence in your analytical abilities, then get Brilliant Premium to learn something new each and every day. Also, to get a first glance of their amazing product, make sure to check out my most recent live stream, where I go through their brand new Calculus in a Nutshell course together with you, my subscribers. Make sure to follow the channel's story to always get notified about new upcoming live streams. Can't wait to do more with you. There are going to be more than one each and every month from now on. If this feels like a something for you, make sure to check out the link at the top of the description. With it, you can get completely free access to Brilliant and the first 200 people to actually use the link get 20% off an annual premium subscription.
So if you really want to support the channel, make sure to try out Purient by using the link at the top of the description. You also know how you can support the channel in various other ways. And up until the next video, I'm wishing you guys a flammable day. Thank you for watching. Ciao.